Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nige. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking at the Three Stooges. Today's video will be focusing on the 40th short film released by Columbia Pictures in 1939. That's June 30th, 1939. It was filmed between December 12th and the 15th, 1938. The short is called Saved by the Bell, and of course, that is a play on the boxing expression Saved by the Bell. Now, don't forget to subscribe, guys and gals, if you haven't yet for more content, as well as hit that bell button, because some people are not notified about my videos if they don't hit that bell button and request notification. And this dude short was really interesting because, unfortunately, it was the last one directed by veteran comedian Charlie Chase. He unfortunately died of a heart attack on June 20th, 1940, which is interesting because that's almost a year later after this short was released. Now let's take a look at some of these exterior shots. Now this short, just like many others, was filmed on location at Columbia's Ranch's Western set. I do want to call attention to this shot. We see the driver played by Al Thompson. He steers a wagon down Western Street on the Columbia Ranch. Now this is interesting because he acted in more than 40 shorts with the Three Stooges, included 35 with Curly in the cast as well. Wow, he was a veteran Stooge actor. While this wasn't one of the strongest Stooge shorts, it did have its fun moments. According to the story, the Stooges are arrested for treason, which is a crime punishable by death in the kingdom of Valeska. So they use a loudly slurping guard to help them cover their noisy escape out of the jail. This one won't be interested. I think he's dead. Valeska is also a country where everyone takes it easy, but there are tons and tons of earthquakes. And so Curly comes up with a plan to make some money by using pillows as shock absorbers for the earthquake. They begin to put their plan into action. However, the guards notice and arrest them for peddling on the street. The Stooges are taken to jail and await their death sentence. However, Rita sneaks in some things in their food and this allows the Stooges to start their escape. Now this short is very, very light on bloopers, but I do want to show you something. In the constant earthquakes that happen in this short, what they do is they shake the camera and of course the actors have to pretend that there's an earthquake happening. But remember, there's no real earthquake happening for the actors. So you can see that the camera stops shaking, but the actors continue to shake. It's a pretty funny moment, but you have to be really sharp to catch. Did you happen to catch it right at the end? Again, the camera stopped shaking and the Stooges continue to shake. Interestingly enough, this joke where the Stooges get inside a car and the tires and wheels are missing was done in other TV shows, including one from the 1990s called Martin. It's pretty cool that a show, pretty contemporary, uses jokes that were used back in the 30s and 40s. Wow. Now, if you don't pay attention, you'll miss it, but there sitting on the left is Vernon Dent, one of the unofficial, I would say, additional Three Stooges, along with Bud Jamieson and Emil Sitka. He has a really small role in this short, and it's great to see him in uniform and in costume. Finally, the Stooges are led to the firing squad. Here it is once more, guys and gals, the blooper where the camera shakes and the actors have to go along with the shaking, but of course, they're not in sync. It's funny to see the soldiers still struggling and wobbling around. The Stooges finally commandeer a truck and drive away. But of course they are the Stooges and nothing ends perfectly for them. They're a bit careless and well, everything goes kabloom. Here's another blooper for you. You notice that the explosion has to come from the back of the truck where the explosives are. But that's not where it comes from. It comes from the ground right next to the wheels and you will see that that's where the explosion happens. That's just the pyrotechnics going on. And notice this last blooper before we conclude, guys and gals. The Stooges are blown off of the truck and they land right on the horse. Notice Curly. He rarely breaks character, but he does in this shot. Just notice his face and his features. He's trying to really purse his lips together so that he doesn't giggle, but he retains it. And not to mention, right before the Stooges hit the horse, those are three mannequins. Again, watch Curly as he sits up and then he smiles, he purses his lips, he looks back around, he looks down trying to hold together and boom, there he goes, he goes back to normal. 
Well, that's it for this episode, guys and gals. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I do appreciate the support, the comments that you show, and as well as just viewing my videos just means so much to me. Hopefully, you're staying positive and hopeful, as always. It's something I love to remind you of. We'll see you next time, and don't forget, be hopeful.